guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to talk about everything that I'm gonna be wearing this spring. The weather has been amazing, so spring is definitely on my mind. So I wanted to talk about the things I'm gonna be wearing. So like the colors, silhouettes, what my influences are, everything like that. So let's go ahead and get right into it. This spring is gonna be the battle of the 1930s versus the 1940s. So the past couple of years, I've been really into the 1940s. You guys have seen me slowly add 1940s pieces into my closet. But since last year, I briefly mentioned that I've been starting to get into the 1930s because I feel like I love the silhouette and the femininity of it. I just feel like it matches my personality really well. So it's kind of like a really great fit. And something that I love about the 1930s versus the 1940s is the shoulder pad situation. So we all know I am not a fan of shoulder pads. I just I really can't get behind it. It makes me think of like the 1980s and I just I really don't like shoulder pads So I feel like the 1930s had softer silhouettes like there's still structure on the shoulders Maybe like a puff sleeve like a flutter sleeve or something, but it's not as sharp as a 1940s Shoulder pad, so I feel like that's something that is making me be more drawn into the 1930s um, There's this one particular video by glamour days here on YouTube that I am obsessed with I'm gonna be linking it down below for you guys But if I could get my wardrobe to just kind of be this vibe I would be like over the moon I just I love the entire like aesthetic and like feel of this video so this is like one of my biggest inspirations okay let's get into some colors so the colors are gonna be all muted and dusty colors I feel like my biggest inspiration actually are these two bathrobes that I got so like can we talk about these colors these colors are I'm obsessed with these tones peach fuzz is Pantone's color of the year and we'll probably be seeing it everywhere it's a light pastel kind of color so perfect for spring personally I'm not a big light pastels girl so I probably won't be wearing it this season however I could get behind a darker more muted peach tone which I know is an entirely different color on its own but I feel like something like that is something that I could add into my wardrobe that is kind of like a hint to the color of the year but being a different color my colors this season are going to be dark pink sage green milk chocolate brown purple sky blue and a weirdly butter yellow Okay, let's talk about prints. Florals, I know, groundbreaking. However, I've been really into this one particular type of floral and I'm not entirely sure what it's called. It almost looks like it's hand-drawn. I'll show you on the screen so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. And if anybody knows the actual term or name for this flower print, let me know in the comments below. I've also been really into like a magnolia flower print. I thrifted this one blouse maybe like a month or two ago, and I'm just like in love with this print. So finding other magnolia print pieces or like a cotton plant kind of print, I think that would be really pretty for spring. Let's get into the clothes I'm gonna be shopping for this season, starting with suit sets. I really wanna grow my suit set collection, especially from the 1930s and 1940s. So these are all gonna be either a dress or a skirt. You guys know I don't really wear pants, so obviously it would be like a skirt or a dress. I do have a couple in pink, but I would like to add something more like maybe like a sage green, sky blue, or like that muted peach tone that I mentioned. Something like that would be amazing for the spring. Trench coats, I have this one blue coat that I thrifted, I think it was like a year or two ago, and I am obsessed with it, honestly, it is my favorite coat, even though it's a little bit too big for me, but I still wear it anyway, because I am just like in love with it. Amelia Strawberry Starlet on Instagram, or Emmy's Vintage here on YouTube, has this amazing light green coat that I am like obsessed with. I dream of finding a coat like this, because I feel like that particular green just matches everything, but it's like not a neutral, do you know what I mean? I feel like something like that would be like my ultimate find this spring. Knit dresses and sets. 1930s knit dresses are probably at the very top of my shopping list. I got this one in 1930s knit dress in October last year um, and I am in love with it. I've never really tried anything like that on but I loved it as soon as I put it on. I feel like it just fit my body really nicely which is weird because it's a more like tight fitting silhouette which I don't usually gravitate towards but I just like I fell in love with it and I want to find something like that again in those colors those like dusty muted colors that I mentioned. Something like that would be incredible so I either like a dress or like a skirt and top kind of combo would be incredible. Tea dresses and skirts. So these are dresses or skirts that fall at like your calf or a little bit past your calf. And again, this is that 1930s influence that has like taken over my life. Um, ideally, I would want to find these dresses or skirts in like a floral print, like the floral print that I mentioned earlier, or like some fun colors. But I feel like a print would be like ideal. 
delicate blouses that I can wear with a skirt or belt. It is so 1930s. I don't really have too many pieces like this because I usually do tend to like tuck in my tops into my skirts. Um, however, I do have this one gold and black top that I wore with a little black belt over a black skirt and I loved the silhouette how it looked. So I do want to find some other ones so that I can add it into my collection either in those dusty muted tones that I mentioned or in like a neutral color so that I could wear it with like some fun colored skirts. Something like that I think would be really nice for the spring. Okay, let's talk accessories. So the first accessory that I'm going to be wearing this spring is going to be round sunglasses, which I know is kind of strange because I'm not a big sunglass girl, but I feel like last year I got these two pairs of round sunglasses that I wore a lot last year. I feel like they just make any outfit look a little bit more vintage, very 1930s, 1940s casual kind of look, which I loved. Like I said, I don't really wear them very often, so I don't think I'm going to be shopping for any more. I have my eye on this one from Etsy. I'm going to be linking it down below in case any of you guys are interested, but I have my eye on this one particular pair of like cream colored ones that I think would be really nice for spring but other than that I'm just going to be wearing the ones that I have but I want to wear them a little bit more I think. 1930s tilt hats especially in a cream or white I have seen so many street scenes from the 1930s like there's so many clips and all the women are wearing these tiny little tilt hats and I just think they look so glamorous and beautiful and they're much more wearable than other hats that I own so for example I love 1940s like big like halo hats but for like every day going to the grocery store that sort of thing it's not as practical I feel like I would get more wear out of like small little tilt hats and I have this one a black one and a brown one that I wore throughout the entire fall winter they were like my most worn hats so I kind of want to recreate that same vibe but in like a cream or white for like the spring Flower brooches are a great addition to any dress or blouse. I feel like they just transform any outfit and make it look a little bit more vintage. So I'm like in love with them. I made a couple of brooches last year. So I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing those same brooches like on repeat this season. I want to see if I can make some other ones, but I just think flower brooches are so beautiful. I want to experiment with like the size of them. I think I want to wear some dresses and just kind of have like a big like flower brooch statement. I feel like something like that would be really, really pretty. For shoes, closed Oxford heels are going to be like my everything this season, especially in like a cream or brown. I have this one pair of like short dark cream colored ones that I wore all the time with shorts and I think they look so pretty. There's this one particular pair of shoes from memory that I am obsessed with. Like I am in love with them. I'm going to be linking them down below in case you guys are interested, but I think they are so beautiful. So I want to get something like that, but maybe in like a cream, white, brown, tan those kind of like neutral everyday colors I feel like something like that is something that I could wear on like a daily basis in the spring last but not least this should come as no surprise to anybody on this channel but it is knit handbags my obsession for knit popcorn bags is very real you have seen me buy literally every single color on this channel I also like these other kind of like knit handbags in unusual shapes I have this light brown one that I really love I would also love to add a 1940s chocolate brown fan bag into my collection that's like at the very top of my shopping list if I could find something like that maybe at the Toronto Vintage Clothing Show I pretty sure I would faint like I have been searching for something like that for so long but I can only find black ones so please cross your fingers that I found a chocolate brown one um, and yeah that's pretty much it for today's video these are the top things I'm going to be shopping for this spring like I said the weather has been incredible it's like 17 degrees outside I'm switching over my closet this weekend so be on the lookout for that video probably next week um before I go I did want to mention that I actually turned on super things on my channel so if you would like to support my channel the option is always there at the very bottom um and yeah don't forget to subscribe as well as turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on any new videos and and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.